is staging. <gasps> Kia ora and welcome. My name is Zoe Stiebe, your vocal coach today. In today's video, we're going to be taking a look at Sam Smith and Kim Petras with Unholy at the British Awards in 2023. I love the song. I know I've looked at it before here on the channel, but I don't care because I want to have a look at their vocal technique at this live performance. Let's get ready to take a look. She got married to a boy like you. She kick you out if she ever ever you. But all the you tell me that you do. And daddy, daddy boy, you know everyone is talking on the scene. I hear them whispering about the places that you've been and how you don't know how to keep your business clean. My <gasps> Look at the staging. <gasps> I have not seen this performance and I feel like I've seen every performance of this song and I have not. <gasps> Sam Smith, I love their voice. It's so beautiful. So we do know that Sam Smith does have a rather high set larynx. Now, the color of a sound can be due to larynx size, but also due to the height. Now, the larynx is this thing here that lives in the throat where the vocal folds live. And what we're noticing as well, lucky, lucky girl, she got married. It's very comfortable within the female chest voice register, which is really, really great if that's something that you're looking to work on. <gasps> Let's go back on that because we've got to like get into the chorus. She got married to a boy like you. She kick you out if she ever ever knew But all the you tell me that you do And daddy, daddy boy You know everyone is talking on the scene I hear them whispering about the places that you've been And how you don't know how to keep your business clean <gasps> I'm just gonna do that every time I'm just so excited about this song. I had to kick it off. I had to kick off filming day uh, with uh, a bit of Sam Smith and Kim Petras. So we're hearing there a very, very straight and stable tone, which is a great way for you to access that chest voice. We want to be taking out a lot of vibrato when we're really trying to find that sound. Now, I'm not really aware of Sam's vocal tuition to date. I would have to do a little bit more digging in order to find out where they began and what they sounded like. But we do know from, you know, when they exploded onto the scene that they they have had this very high tenor range, but we do know that sometimes through the male voice change, there is the ability for some singers to maintain their upper register and gain a huge amount of the lower register. Oh, let's jam out to this chorus. I hear the whispering about the places that you've been and how you don't know how to keep your business clean. What an entrance! We're gonna watch that again. Oh my goodness, how uncomfortable to be like lying down there. It's just like, <laughs> I'm just watching that section going like, true, the body shop. It means car repairs. Oh my freaking God. That is just so insane, Zoe. I thought he's just going to buy some, some, you know, some sheer butter hand, hand 
cream or something like that. That's fucking funny. This is really, really great if you're looking to improve your chest voice because it's really staying sort of around. A, I mean, it's a little bit higher in the range than maybe I would personally like for some singers. So if you are struggling with this, do take it down like maybe one or two semitones. I'll put a link in the description below for my favorite software to lower the pitch of songs just for practicing. But it is really settling like around that sort of passaggio area of the voice. You want to keep a really, it's a lovely thick vocal fold sound, not particularly loud. The microphone's right close to the mouth. And we do know that Sam can sing much, much louder. But if you want to work on your chest voice and you want to improve this part of your range to be able to just like mommy don't know daddy's getting hard and just sing this song with a lot of power and confidence then sign up for my five day challenge to sing with power and find your chest voice and I'm going to take you through five entire singing lessons in order for you to find your chest voice figure out how to begin training your chest voice and to stay in that chest voice sound and to take it further up the range I'm excited check it out in the description below but <gasps> we're gonna have to go back on this Kim that is an entrance. I love that. Oh my goodness me, Kim, what a fantastic entrance that was. Really great thicker vocal fold sound in the sort of midsection of the range, very spoken on pitch. And I'm loving the way that you can hear absolutely every word that she's saying. The articulation is absolutely fantastic. Great sound there. Let's just go back to that entrance because I'm just like, oh! Oh my goodness me, did you hear Kim go up further in the range there? That was like a holy! I, th I think it was about the C sharp. Let's just go have a little look, little look at that. That was such a fantastic performance. And did you notice there, holy, going up to that C sharp, that was definitely a chest voice sound that was going up there. I'm not really sure if that was, that, that could be classed as a belt as well. Um, belt is often, when we're singing with a thicker vocal fold mass, further up in the range, and I would say that was like a contemporary belt kind of sound. I'd need to get it on the spectrogram though to really have a look and, and kind of listen to it again, to be honest. When we're talking about belt further up in the range, it really depends on the style of singing that we're talking about. Some musical theater, we'd be looking for like a little bit more mass on the vocal folds, a slightly 
more like a slightly louder sound and then this sort of that's the traditional musical theater sort of like uh like don't rain on my parade kind of thing barbara streisand but then when we're talking about a contemporary belt we can allow the vocal folds to thin out a little bit more it can be a little bit quieter but we're still looking holy it's still that straight tone and then you can kind of tip into the vibrato but it's not it's like as soon as you're kind of moving into the vibrato, you've sort of gone out a little bit of that belt sound and you lose a little bit of that thickness. But we use vibrato then in a way to, I don't know why I'm talking about vibrato. There was no vibrato in the sound whatsoever. Um, but we use vibrato then as a coloring technique at the end. Absolutely fantastic. Really, really excellent example, honestly, of the chest voice quality. Didn't really go further up in the range whatsoever. Uh, it's that C sharp. Totally manageable for a lot of people once they really get a handle on that chest voice quality. And if you want to learn more about how to improve your chest voice, then check out the link in the description below for my five-day challenge to find your chest voice. Sing with power because the chest voice is really the basis of all singing technique, especially when it comes to contemporary singing. I just can't wait to see you there. And if you enjoyed that performance, <laughs> check out Unholy Up Here. But I'll see you around here next time. Have an awesome rest of your day. Happy singing. Kaiki channel.